So the next thing I wanted to upgrade was the uh, size of my uh, drive, my SSD. They give you a thumb drive with the uh, vehicle. It's not very large. Um, I want to say maybe 8 or 16 gig. It'll hold about an hour worth of time. Uh, this should hold a couple of days worth of uh, recorded material. So I think it's 48 hours for a terabit. I picked this one up on Amazon, about $110. It's a very nice looking drive from what I can tell. Um, it's obviously a Samsung, so it's a good product. It's also IP65, one of the only ones I found, which I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, so if it gets a little water or something on it, it'll, it'll be in okay shape. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this set up in the car. Let's uh, open up the glove box. Open the glove box. Open the glove box. Didn't get it the first time there. Oh, looking for my pin. Put that in real quick. There we go. And the drive that they give to you with it is that little guy right there. Let me go ahead and pull it, and we'll take a look and see. Maybe it'll tell us how big it is. I think it is actually a Samsung drive, because I've got another one at home that looks identical to this, made by Samsung. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's 128 gigs, so it's a little larger one. Not too bad. But uh, the one we'll be putting in will be, oh, what, 8, 16 times bigger, I think? So it'll, it'll be quite a bit larger. It'll hold a lot more. Uh, the port that they have in the glove box, I guess this is the only data port that they now have on the car. They must have had another data port here and there uh, in the other vehicles. But uh, what I had to buy is a splitter, which hasn't come yet. And I'll be plugging that in to the USB drive up there. And then I'll have that along with some game controllers plugged in with this. Uh, the game controllers, obviously, for the uh, Toy Box Games arcade that they have in the uh, car. So we'll see how this works out. I'll come back to you here in a second. So like all of the Samsung's products, they always knock it out of the park. Nice packaging, multi-level, little box slides out. There's some instructions. They give you two cables with it, the C to C or the C to A, which we have here. There'll be a C to A for our device. And there is the uh, drive. And it's really small and compact. I'd say it's about, I don't know, maybe about, the size of a deck of playing cards probably a little smaller than even that, a little thinner. Um, so you got a plug right there to go ahead and plug in the USB-C. Get some basic information about the drive on this side. And uh, what's really neat is it's got a rubber kind of sort of coating on this. It's, uh, it's a nice, nice coating on this, so it should, should be pretty sturdy. I'm going to get this together and plug it in and show you what the next step is going to be. So I went ahead and plugged in the uh, drive with the cord that they provided. It's got a little bit of length to it, which is kind of nice. I can slide it over to the other end of the box here if I wanted to. I'm uh, probably going to leave it kind of there for now. Um, and the car immediately detects it and asks you if you want to format it. So we'll go ahead and try to format it here. See what that looks like. Format USB. Drive data be permanently deleted. Yep, that's okay. We'll go ahead and format that. I'm not sure what the format is that they use uh, for the vehicle, but as you see, it's uh, it's good to go, just like that. Success, and uh, we'll see how it does with our videos here. I'll let you know if uh, there's any kind of an issue with this uh, recording or not.